This video is to accompany Lab 10. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit about Part A, cork cells. If you haven't already read the lab procedure, please pause this video and read it now. Once you've read the procedure, continue to play this video tutorial. Okay, to make the cork cell, you're going to come up to the front of the room. There's going to be a dish of cork shavings. Come up with your slide, and it should already have at least one drop of water on it so the cork doesn't fly off your slide. Stick your finger into the cork shavings and pick up a few. Then sprinkle them into your drop of water. Walk back to your desk and add a little bit more water, maybe two three more drops. You got to have enough water otherwise when you try to focus you will not be able to focus. Take your cover slip, angle it at a 45 degree angle and gently lower it down. Now if you see that you have a big air pocket, zoom in on that. Okay, I'll have to pick it up. If you have a big air pocket like on the right side of the slide you can just add some more water to the edge of your slide and it will go right under. You don't want to have a big air pocket like that. So now the air pocket is gone. And then you want to look at the smallest piece possible under your microscope slide. This is what it should look like if you are focused on high power when you're looking, you don't want to look at the middle of your sample. You want to look at the edge where you can see some light coming through the cork sample on your slide. Each one of these units that you see is one cork cell. And really, you're only seeing the cell wall. There's nothing else that remains of the cell because it dried out. Enjoy.